it's a sense of the centrality of Israel in Jewish life. And as a reform Zionist, it's the commitment to making our values present in the, in the state of Israel today, which is sometimes not an easy task because we are in the minority on some issues, and those some of the key issues are issues that affect women. So as a woman and a reformed Jew and a Zionist, there's a particularly important music to the task, to making women in Israel not excluded present in, in daily life, and to find a state that can respect all ways of being Jewish and Zionist. In the, as a Jewish woman in the diaspora, I think the job is not very different from being a Jewish man and a Zionist in the diaspora, because we share the same values there. I would expect a reform man in the diaspora to care just as much as me about the role of women in Israel, about making Israel a Medinat Mofet. There's no difference. Where the difference comes is in how Israel makes us do our work. But we are the same people with the same values in Hul. The, inst the ways in which women enter into the Zionist table in Israel has changed over the last 10 or 15 years. I think in the past there were more roles for women in the women's organizations. Those very powerful, very wonderful organizations like Hadassah, like Witzo, Witzo like Naamat, these women's organizations were a very important channel for women to engage. Now in Israel, we see that Artsenu has, representing a large proportion of Zionists abroad, a woman who is the chair. And it could just as easily have been a man. So the, while there was a difference before in the ways in which women entered to the Zionist conversation, now women and men enter the Zionist conversation the same way. But some of the critical issues in that Zionist conversation are issues which particularly focus on women. And here we have to talk about, of course, again, the exclusion of women from the public space, the compromises that need to be made within the state between the rights of the extreme orthodox who feel it necessary to exclude women and the rights of religious Zionists such as reformed Jews to include women in an egalitarian way. In North America, my gender is no longer important to me as a defining way in which I participate in public life. Nobody would say that I have my role because I'm a woman or despite the fact that I'm a woman. I think in North America, it doesn't matter at all. And the way in which it matters in Israel makes me very sad because it, may, it takes the risk of closing the door to the engagement of Zionist women in diaspora. What do I mean? In North America, there, as, as a reformed Jew in an egalitarian religion, there is nothing that I can't do. I can daven in my synagogue beside my husband. I can read from the Torah. I can go to any holy place. And in Israel, this is not the case. This means that there is a particularly excluded feeling in being a Zionist woman and a Jew in North America when I think about Israel. This is a negative. It's not a positive. It means that we are fighting a battle which I would have hoped would be over already. Instead, my gender and how I pray and what my customs are tell me perhaps that I am not so welcome currently in Israel. So sadly, the important task of a Zionist woman and a Zionist man and being a reformed Jew in North America is to open the doors in Israel the same way they are open to me in North America. This is very sad. It is, in a way, a failure of the state of Israel to recognize the values which were in its Declaration of Independence it's, we have failed to find a reasonable compromise 
between those values of egalitarianism, of equality, and the needs for worship of observant Jews who have trouble with women in public space. We do not have a good compromise yet, and we need we, all Zionists, and we, lovers of Israel, and we, reformed Jews, and other religious Jews with room for women in Israel, need to find a compromise which will give space to both in a way that respects me as a reformed Jew, as a Zionist, and as a woman. It would be a message of hope that these issues which I find very painful as a woman and a Zionist in North America, I believe are coming now to a time of, of reconsideration and reevaluation. Although there have been extreme elements in Israeli society which have excluded us, I think those elements may now be overwhelmed, outbalanced by elements in society that see there must be room for me. There must be room for people like me from diaspora to express themselves here in Israel. So my message would be one of hope. Don't stop. Exactly right now, keep the pressure on. Bring these beliefs optimistically to, our, to the table in Israel because things will change and they will change soon.